All right, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom. First of all, we give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach us the truth and rule well. And salutation, peace, love, and blessing unto the hopeful elect. We're the brothers from Great Millstone, Miami. I'm the brother Ramak. I'm the brother Kurak. And the topic that we're going to go into is that we're going to be rich forever. You know, and we understand that Yahweh Shai, who the real ignorantly calls Jesus, he's about to come back with all the angels, with all the glory of the Heavenly Father to save the elect of Israel from slavery, from captivity, from oppression, from this wicked flesh, from this wicked world. And with that, he's going to give us the kingdom. You know, Lord willing, we have the elect and we get it on the first go going to receive the kingdom and this kingdom is going to be the everlasting kingdom it's going to be a kingdom like like never before in which we're going to be rich we're going to have slaves we're going to be perfect we're going to have new bodies all these different things we're going to have the heavenly father dwelling with us man you know so seeking your how about shy you know enduring you know fighting your battles you know showing integrity and even in these times to come keeping your faith, Lord willing, he keeps his spirit upon us to do for the joy that's set before us. That's right. That's right. Because the Lord is telling us, man, he really finna he really finna rejoice over us, man. Yep. And make us richer than than ever, man. And it's beginning now with getting this wisdom. It's beginning now with getting this wisdom and enduring in his faith, man. That's right. Mm-hmm. Hey, and the and the reality is, you know, um what's about to happen is our oppressor is about to be overthrown. Mm-hmm. Okay, and when you really when you look at, you know, uh, not just scriptural history but secular history, okay, ultimately you have what you have a ruler, mm-hmm. okay, and then all the other nations are in submission. When you go back into history, you got the, uh, you know, you got the Babylonian Empire, um, the uh, Medo Persian Empire, the Greeks, the Romans, and when those people ruled, everybody else were their subjects. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody was subjugated to uh, 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 the rulership of who was the oppressor at that time. But the Lord is telling us, look, hey, uh, uh, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. You see? So now it's time for us to be the oppressors. Okay? And then when we're set up through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashem al Shai, okay, to rule this world. You know, and, and complete righteousness. Right. Complete righteousness. Right. You know what I'm saying? No wickedness, no, no, um, you know, uh, wicked, unrighteous decrees. When we're set up in complete righteousness, we're going to rule forever. Okay? Which means what? We're going to be rich forever. Right. Okay? <laughs> but this is our Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. You know, milk scripture. But, hey, it's in red letters. The Lord said it. You know what I'm saying? We can... Hey, like the scriptures say, rest with us, you see? And we can rest with scriptures like this. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. It says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, okay? And, hey, this doesn't fit the little hatters. You have to point out a time in history when when Amalek was full of tribulation and poverty. And you can't point it out. You can't. You know what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to the true children of Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we fit the bill. Okay? Right. We're the ones in tribulation. We're the ones in poverty. Right. See? To the point where our only hope is the Lord coming back That's to save it. us. Not no bow for um, declaration. Nah. Not the manipulating World War One, World War Two, and all this bullshit mm-hmm. uh, propaganda and narratives, man. You know? It's to the point where so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the true Israelites. Our only hope is the Lord coming back and save us. Only hope, bro. Mm-hmm. Cause, hey, because we got we got billionaires amongst our nation. You know what I'm saying? You got Oprah Winfrey. You got you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 what's this nigga? Uh, uh, Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they're not into helping the nation come up out of their poverty and their right. tribulation. I have they helped your 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 everyday life. Right. Because you have simple niggas. Oh, man, you got to got get money, man. You can go out there and get it. Man. But how is that going to change our state as a people? And see, and that's the, the reality of this thing, man. 
the men that the Lord set up to go out and sigh and cry and to prophesy against this kingdom are the true men of Yahweh Shem Yahshua. Why? Because ultimately, we care for our nation. Why are we out on the highways and hedges? Mm -hmm. We don't know who the elect is. You see? And the, 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 the uh, labor that we've been called into is, is, is hey, the scriptures say it. It says the harvest is great, but surely the laborers are few. Mm -hmm. So we're pretty much bearing the burden that, hey, hey uh, uh, Moses said it. He said, you know, when they came to him and said, oh, these guys are prophesying. It, it, Moses told them, look, hey, the Lord, rather that all Israel shall prophesy. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the case. But, hey, we'll, we'll bear it. We'll bear the burden of the men of our nation not wanting to prophesy, not wanting to be subservient to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh You see? Why? Because there are promises. And one of the main promises is that we're going to be rich forever. Okay? But this is Revelation 2 and 9. It says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. In parentheses, it says, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Okay? So, ultimately, we're rich, man. Okay? And that's the reason why we've forsaken the world. Why? Because we have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. That's the richness. That's what makes us rich. There you, there you go. And, Yahweh, and that's Yahweh who said that. Yahweh Shah say be rich, be rich. Right. You know, because really, you know, he he's he's the author and the finisher of our faith, the Alpha and Omega. He he done seen it. He knows the 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 blessings that's about to come to us as a nation, man. Beginning with the elect, and it's gonna start with this truth, man. It's gonna start with this truth. If I could bring out the book of um, yeah, Proverbs chapter three, verse two. You know, I'm gonna start get straight to the point. Verse fifteen. She is more precious, and this is talking about wisdom, than rubies. And all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Right. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand, riches and honor. You know? And the Lord is going to give us that by, by just really holding fast to what we have. Yep. This wisdom, this faith, this truth, which really cultivates our faith, man. Because mm -hmm. at her right hand is riches forevermore. Yep. You know? And if I could bring this out. Um, quickly too on um, is the book of Matthew chapter nineteen, um, verse shoot man twenty eight. No, I'm gonna start at verse twenty seven. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And that's what we're doing right now, man. For the sincere brothers, we're, for, we're following you. How about me? How was shot? You know, we heard, the Lord put the Spirit upon us to hear this word. To believe it and now we're moving off of the truth man we're moving off of the words of the bible man you know through the holy spirit forsaking out all of these different things and following yahweh shot because we believe he's really going to come and what the world calls ufos to beam up his elect That's right. you know so verse 28 it says and yahweh shot said unto them verily i say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the son of man shall sit in the throne of glory he also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone that has forsaken houses, or brethren, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. Right, and if you notice, it said, if you have forsaken these things, Right. Now, the reality is, brothers don't have to have to have forsaken all of those things. It's that or. Right. Or, or, or. Or. Because we have our different walks in this truth, man. Right. But ultimately, you don't forsake it all. Yeah, right, right. Because if it, if it was presented that you had to forsake this or forsake that, you would. And the things that the Lord signed up for us to forsake, we did. You see? But that's through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shem outside. Why? Because we're seeking after true riches, which is really the full understanding of Yahweh Shem outside. Right. That's part, and that's part of the full understanding. The Lord ain't playing. Like the Lord ain't telling us to do this work in vain. Right. 
The Lord ain't telling you to sacrifice in vain. Like he's he's really telling us straight up, I'm going to give you a hundredfold with everlasting life, meaning you're going to live forever and you're going to be rich forever. You don't for suck lands, you don't for suck money, you don't for suck all. Basically, the Lord saying, what if whatever you do for suck, I'm a, I'm gonna give it to you more than you could even fathom with eternal life. So you're really gonna be rich forever, you know. And that and and really that riches is really gonna begin with us receiving new bodies and and having, you know, immortality, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, this for this corruption must put on incorruption. You know, and this mortality must put on immortality. When the Lord give us those new bodies that He promised us, you know, Lord, when we have to let when He come as coming, we ain't gonna sin no more. Which meaning, you know, the wages of sin is death. But also, hey, if you ain't sinning no more, you ain't gonna die no more. The Lord ain't gonna jack you up no more. You're not even gonna cough anymore. Bro, it's a great, it's a great thing that we Israelites. That's right. The Wadi Yah Bashmi man, we rich, we rich as hell. Yep. You know, so to speak, man, for lack of better words, but you get what I'm saying. Right. We rich, man, through you, through the spirit of Yah Bashmi Al Shai. Right. And that's and that's all predicated on the wisdom to be wise, to understand the ways of our Creator. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and really, that's what it boils down to. Only the Israelites have been given the understanding on how to avoid the wrath of Yahweh by Shemel. Because so, mm -hmm. that was appointed since the beginning of the time. You know what I'm saying? So the main focus has been what? Let me get out of the Lord's way because what he's about to do is rid the earth of wickedness. Mm -hmm. So, and like we were talking about earlier, you know, sides are, sides are being chosen. Mm -hmm. You're either righteous or you're wicked. There ain't no gray area. Esau Edom has presented this wicked, false narrative that there's a gray area. Okay? But when you read the scriptures, there ain't no gray area. Right. You're either with Yahweh by Shem Shah or you're his adversary. Okay? And Yahweh Shah said what? Those, my enemy, that, that I should not reign over them, bring yeah, before me and, and, slay, and them. Slay, slay them. That's right. Okay? Because that gray area is really Esau and telling you that you could put yourself over the most high and you you know you could say you love God but you know you could bend him to, to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know? The Lord is formable to a man. Uh, not, not the other way around. <laughs> but I ain't gonna cut it. Right. You know? Fear the most high, that's the beginning of wisdom. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So this wisdom that we have been given from the most high you know, in the fear of him is what's going to keep us in the time of trouble. And that's the riches like a motherfucker because, hey, people can have money and, or whatever, you know, but it's going to fail them in these times to come. Right. In the, in the hour of temptation and Jacob's trouble, hey, that's not going to deliver them. Hey, riches profit not in the dead people. <laughs> that's in the Bible. It ain't going to profit Esau. Right. Right. Riches profit not. That, that's not something that goes just uh, specific to, for, for Israelites. That's for everybody, man. When when the world is in, in, in chaos, you know, and, 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 and wicked decrees are being implied, hey, ain't nothing going to, hey, what, what are you going to do with gold? All right, when the Lord is judging, what the fuck you going to do? Right. When the Lord gets you, he gets you. He and, got you. And the Lord is about to get everybody. Yep. But for those who, who serve him and who fear him, and the Lord has given us this wisdom. We're going to be kept in the times to come. Right. And when your hopper shot come, be beamed up in chariots. And then the Lord said he's going to place a crown upon our heads. Right. I Meaning he got the elect too. He got everybody. He got the whole wide world. In, in his hands. hands. Okay. And speaking of wisdom, <laughs> this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter uh, six. Mm, yeah, that's, that's six. Yeah, Wisdom mm -hmm. of Solomon, chapter six. Verse 17, it says, for the, uh, for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline. And the care of discipline is love. Okay, and that her is speaking of who? Sophia. That's right. Wisdom. Right? It says, and love is the keeping of her laws. Mm -hmm. And the giving of... It says, the giving heed unto her love is the assurance of incorruption. Mm. See? It says, and incorruption 
maketh us near unto the most high. Why? Because he's an incorruptible power. Right. You see? Hey, if you're near to the most high, he's the creator of the universe. He created he created all the elements like gold and silver. Incorruptible. And, and riches and air and, and beauty and, you know, and, you know. Incorruptible. The Lord could give all of that to us. Right. Incorruptible, though, which yep. moths will not, you know, eat, which will not wither away, you know. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. It says, uh, verse... Verse 20, it says, Therefore the desire of wisdom <laughs> brings him to a kingdom. That's right. Verse 21, here's the point. It says, If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. forevermore. Okay? And that's the title of this lesson. Right. We're going to be rich forever. Right. And, and the reason why is because what? We're desiring wisdom. Right. Hey, like, hey, perfect example, the preacher, King Solomon, when the Lord asked him what he would desire, he said wisdom on right. how to judge the people. And if you judge the people the right and with wisdom and with equity, then guess what? You rule forever. Right. Okay, why? Because the king of a society should be the most humblest servant. See, and the scriptures teach us to be exactly that. And the perfect example is our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah. That's right, man. That's why he got brothers going out sacrificing this Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, whenever brothers go out to go out and preach and right. on the streets. People right. call us crazy right. and all these different things. You know, to study throughout the week, posting posting up lessons, edifying lessons throughout the week. You know, being a brother, give me your body up as a living sacrifice. You know, to really to obtain your shot. That's right. Salvation and deliverance, because we don't want fire, but also everything that the Bible speaks of, man. It does say if if, if, if you like scepters, if you, if, you know, if your desire be in scepters wow. and thrones, man. Because, yeah, man, we want our kingdom to be on, we want our nation to be on top. Right. And it, and it boils down to what? So having a ruling class mentality, what the fuck? Look, Esau, he don't want to rule. You know what I'm saying? The Babylonians, the Medo Persians, they wanted to rule. The, the elites of their society wanted to be in a leadership authority. Right. And guess what? The leadership of the nation of Israel wants to be in leadership authority. Right. But right. This, this rulership entails complete righteousness, which means, like the brother mentioned, no going off, no sinning. That means we're wrong forever. Rich forever. There you go. That's the way to be rich forever. Right. And we from Miami. Fuck what Rick Ross say. Yeah, fuck him. We gonna be rich forever. Do you how about Shmi Abba Shai? Hey, the scriptures um, in Romans eight it says if we suffer with him, and that's part of this, we will be um, joint heir with him, right? That's right. Which means the things he gonna receive, we're gonna receive, right? Well, here's Revelation chapter five, verse um, twelve. It says, saying with a loud voice, and this is the angels talking about our Lord Yahweh Shai. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. So the Lord is going to, we're going to be joint ill with that. Yeah, honor, riches, wisdom, power, strength, blessing. Hey, the Lord told Abraham, in blessing, I will bless you. It ain't for us to be set up to fall like Esau Edom. Because really, Esau Edom is really just set up for horrible destruction. The Lord is going to bless us for it to last forever. Right. You know? Right. Hey, hey, what did the scripture say? Uh, 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 Sow for yourself treasures in heaven, but moth and rust do not corrupt. That's right. The riches that Esau Edom has, moth and rust eventually will corrupt. <laughs> and that moth and rust going to come in the form of your how about you and yet in nuclear missiles right. pelting this place mm -hmm. but in Psalm 149 and 4 mm -hmm. it says for the Lord take pleasure in his people he will beautify the meek with salvation man so we're going through you know you know before honor is humility right. you know we've been brought down and even for brothers in this truth man hey 
we we being put in order. We we going through different things, you know, be humble, contrite, you know. But hey, the Lord's going to beautify. He's going to beautify us, man, with salvation. He's going to save us, and He's really going to beautify us, man. We're going to be in the kingdom. I has not seen, neither it has heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man what the Lord has for those who love Him, man. That's right. Lord finna hook us. He He has hooked us up with His truth. Right, and then and then also, you know, looking at it as as, as being a servant, like I mentioned earlier, to be a king, you got to be the greatest servant. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and and what did the scripture say? It say when the righteous righteous bear rule, the people rejoice. rejoice. So not only is this gonna be an excellent thing for the nation of Israel, it's gonna be an excellent thing for the whole world as a conglomerate. Okay. Minus Esau Edom who's gonna be eradicated after a thousand years. He's the only one that can't live in harmony. Okay? But as far as the rest of the world, okay, through the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah, okay, and the men that, that the Lord chose to give to him, the whole world is going to rejoice, man. That's right. It's going to be in absolute peace and absolute righteousness. But as far as riches, okay, and, and wealth, that's going to preside with the nation of Israel, which the Lord intended from the beginning. That's right, man. <laughs> so, hey, be rich. Yep. It's already written. Right. Lord willing, we of the elect, and we're going to receive it on the first go. And that riches is going to come with being kept in a time of trouble while everybody else getting messed up. That's right. But the scripture says, my servant shall eat, drink, and rejoice. My uh, servant shall be merry and have abundance. Right. Be beamed up while nuclear missiles come down. You know, then receive a crown from your Habashai's hands. And then receive the kingdom. With planets, many mansions. Nobody's. Come on, man. Like that. <laughs> hey. Like that. <laughs> hey, so low one, this is edifying. We give all praises on and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutation unto the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom.